How to vent without being a burden. According to Reddit, in the interest of clarity, tonight the question asked is, do you have anything that you want to vent, but don't want to burden your friends or family with? And if you're listening and you have that, go ahead and deliver it in the comment section. No judgment. Or you could join the Discord. If you want people to react or respond, give you a little bit of advice. I'm going to read 14 of these entries. Here's number 14. This isn't necessarily bad, but this has been the only year of the decade where I didn't genuinely want to end my life. Nobody in my family knows that I planned to die last summer, but I'm so, so thankful that I made it out of this decade alive. I genuinely feel like this is the happiest that I've ever been. Well, I'm glad. Sometimes all you can hope to be is the woke goat. But not the woke part, just the goat part. You know what I'm talking about? The woke goat? Like, greatest of all time? Um, you could take it there if you wanted to. I just like that they can stand on things. Pretty sturdy. Sturdy. Oh, goat. wait, have you seen them, like, piled on a tree? It's really cool. A bunch of goats on a tree. I'll have to look that up later. Why um, not, Nerd? Is that gonna make anybody less depressed? Goats on a tree? This better be some national G. Of course, it's taking me to CBS or, News. You know what I mean? YouTube has fallen. I mean, Google. I remember when Google to used to actually, you know, this is what yeah, you want. Yeah, look at them. That's great. Okay. Um, they should make a, a goat simulator uh, untitled goose game crossover. That's probably a million dollar idea, actually. You should get on that. How am I supposed to orchestrate that? Or better yet, just, nah, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah. Man, somebody's gonna steal my idea now. Shit. You gotta do it right now. Yeah, then. I gotta get through this list of quick. Number 13. I'm really disappointed that people close to me don't really have the same interests, and it's very difficult to have a meaningful conversation. People would rather shit talk for others and choose to avoid some of the deeper conversations. I understand small talk, and of course we can't always talk about important or difficult or strange things, but it amazes me that every time a topic is brought up, people just pick up their phones and browse social media instead of even trying to listen if they don't know anything about the topic. I may be ranting, but it really pisses me off. Why does it piss you off? Here's the thing. Um, I think you need to take this kind of shit with a grain of salt. And the thing that I would suggest, of course, if you're seeking people uh, that share your interests, is to allow your interests to, um, to take you into fields that would allow you to make those friends. So say you're a nerd or a shut-in. You know, and I'm not saying that aggressively. I'm one of those, okay? And I don't know. I want other friends who are nerds and shut-ins and maybe into the same things that I'm into. I'm probably going to have to end up going to a convention. Maybe I throw a little money at a cosplay, you know, and try to go out and just uh, fraternize with people who share my bing bongs, right? Maybe I find a community. Maybe if I'm into gaming, I find groups that are into the particular game that I'm into. Of course, the people situated around you are only geographically like near you. Why the hell should they share the exact things that you're into? Of course, they're going to want to gossip. Of course, they're going to have nothing to contribute. And better for them to shut the hell up when topics that they'd have no idea about come up than to run their mouth about shit they don't know. You know, that's what I'm used to. So I like to think if this is like a layer of hell, I'm one layer below it where it's fucking worse. Where people are just like, I don't know about that, but let me tell you what I think. And it's like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, Jesus. It's not a competition. I'm not saying that mine has to be worse, but there it is. Hello, everybody in the stream chat, including Icky Gabby, the green named sponsor. We are not worthy. Um, 
do you guys have anything to contribute in the direction of wanting to vent but not wanting to be a burden to those around you? Come on, let's hear it. Let's hear about the pregnancies that you guys have. Come on, okay? Or don't have. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> Again, I'd say if it's private that you could Snapchat me, but none of you are going to do it. So what you should do is just go to the Discord. You're anonymous there. Nobody knows who you are. Sometimes you want to go where nobody knows your name. You're singing the intro to a, a, a show that is from way before people came to, to live on this earth. Great. Too old now, Stripes. Do you know what that's from? Cheers. Yeah, cheers to you too. Number 12. I feel it. Nope. I feel left out, and I don't know what to do with it. Most of the time, I'm okay with spending time alone, but recently, maybe it's the holidays, I've been feeling lonelier. A very small circle. I have a very small circle, and everyone's unavailable. Either they're with their significant others or other groups of friends. Yeah, can you imagine for this time of year? Get, get a load of these guys with their significant others in the holiday time. I'm not complaining about that because I have no right to demand anything of them, but a part of me feels like this slap of reality that I'm alone and it's scaring me. I am young and I have a lot of time to make, and I, no, I am young and I have a lot of time to make friends or even start dating, but I'm not very gifted in socializing. I don't want to carry this miserable thought to the next decade. You should just make a tulpa and date them. We are not going to talk about tulpas right now, but what I will say is that people need to curb their enthusiasm as it pertains to believing a partner will solve all of their problems. Yes, if you're alone and you get a little bit of companionship, it may do you good. But not everybody is worthy of being your companion. And the people who get into the worst relationships, be they platonic or otherwise, are people who are too excited to be in a relationship, be it platonic or otherwise, because they think it's going to solve their problems. Well, if it isn't Terra. Speaking of relationships that, you know, are gonna... Anyway, my point is, okay, you guys gotta be careful what you're getting into because sometimes being eager um, has you situated with the wrong person. People who are uh, out there literally willing and waiting to take advantage of people who are in so vulnerable a state that they'll jump at any slight amount of affection or attention that is thrown their way. You guys are like a dog that, you know, will jump at any bone thrown at you. And that is difficult sometimes. Not you guys in the stream chat, but some people. And that's tricky. It's not abnormal to feel alone, but you still need to be cautious, you know, have your guard up occasionally. And it sucks because it seems like some people just skip through life without a worry or a care in the world, just completely oblivious until I guess they're hurt. And then they have a shield up that they should have had or a shell. This is silly. And they never let anyone in again. And I, I'm not implying that, of course, oh, you guys are lame. You should never want the, the company of other people. I'm just saying you need to make sure that the company that you seek is the right company. Because not everybody has your best interest at heart. But many, 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 many people are willing to pretend that they do until they get what they want. You know? until they get what they want take things slow man the time to get a friend if you wanted friends for a specific time of the year is not at that time of the year don't just think you're going to be able to run out and be like oh, okay i found you nope that's a good way to get fucked over number 11 i'm so sick and i have no idea what is wrong with the doctors sorry this needed punctuation and I didn't get it. I guess that's what I get. <laughs> In my face. I'm so sick and I have no idea what is wrong, period. The doctors can't find <laughs> anything obvious. <sighs> Sorry. This doesn't have any punctuation, boy. 
Jesus, I'm so sick and I have no idea what is wrong. <laughs> I got an idea. Stop it. This person's venting. Oh, I wonder why he's venting to us. Okay, okay, okay. The doctors can't find anything obvious. It could be my anxiety sparking to an all-time high, but I don't know. I can't function. I can't work. I feel like an inconvenience and I'm terrified. I just want to be able to enjoy myself, but I'm so in so much agony. Don't worry, though. I will get through it. Just needed it off my chest. Bruh. You're lucky. You're lucky. I'm, I, I'm never going to break my commenting rule. I'm never going to break my commenting rule in here. Oh, yeah, you didn't know. I have a rule about not commenting on uh, Reddit threads. In, uh, ask Reddit threads, anyway. Oh, okay. I thought you meant, like, adding little clips to the stream. Because that would be a rule you've broken a lot. No, dude, I don't comment. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is it, like, the Star Trek thing? Where, like, you can't interact with them? Because that would be, like... You're making a prime directive joke. You're yeah. making... Okay. Moving on, <laughs> yeah, it's my prime directive. I can't. I, I I can only observe. I'm a watcher, you know. <laughs> Who watches the watcher, though? You know. <laughs> Number ten. You're I guess everybody in the stream. Yeah, I just got an unconditional offer for a university. Congratulations to you. One of the two in the country. I was. I'm able to study archaeology, which offers distance learning with the ability to go to digs in the year. I have a no A levels. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure people um, in the UK may, may um, to warrant me being offered this. Wait, well, yeah, so he kind of got it on a fluke when he should have had like uh, more like higher credentials or something. I've wanted to do this since I was six years old, but was convinced otherwise by my family. Now I have a family of my own, including kids. So it's hard for me to go to university full time and go away from home. Well, it should be impossible, dude. So I applied and I've been accepted based on my personal statement alone. I'm thrilled to pieces for once. Something I've dreamed about is coming true. I've told my family, my husband, friends, and I pretty much just got a blank face back. So I'm sitting in my happy excitement bubble on my own. But how can you make this happen when you have a family? And I don't mean this in a dismissive or disrespectful fashion, guys. But there are things that are possible when you have a family, and there are things that are not. And once you've like dedicated yourself to becoming a parent, okay. those little bastards should come first. Sorry, <coughs> them little them like little kids didn't it. ask to be mixed up because your dumbass didn't understand how you know birth control worked. So why don't you stick around and make sure you're doing what the hell you need to be doing instead of chasing some bullshit. I'm okay. Okay. Let's not disrespect archaeology. Respect. <laughs> Number nine, man. My granddad died two days ago. My mother found out very early that morning, and I had to start work in the morning, but called in to say that I was going to be late because I wanted to make sure that my mother would be okay. I had to sort out her flight to Italy because her family is over there and anyone who knows their funerals uh, know that they happen very quickly for Italians. My mind was on her and her family that morning. I got to work and everyone knew, everyone that knew was very supportive, but understood when I said that I'd just like to get on with my shift and keep myself busy. I work in retail, which was nice until I found out that my manager, upon hearing why I didn't come to work on time, decided to start bitching to the staff saying it's only a grandparent, you kind of have to expect it. It's Christmas, can't have staff turn up when they want to, etc. When she spoke to me, she made it about herself and told me how her grandparents are still alive at 95. Wow. Wow. You know? Can you, it's just, it's, isn't it shocking how up people, up their own ass some people are? Can you imagine having a relative die regardless of who they are to you? And then having somebody else go, my relative of that, age, you know, is way older than yours was. You know, I don't believe you should have been here late because you're dealing with a death.
Oh my God. The, the manager went on to say that when the dad died, she was so devastated, but that was unexpected. So her grief was obviously going to be bad, implying that my mom was overreacting. I walked away from my shift after an hour and a half. I didn't want to worry my parents about it because they already have the deaf to deal with. I had my laptop, so I sat in the cafe for five hours and went home when my shift ended. The important thing is that my mom is where she needs to be right now. I'm just glad she decided to come home for Christmas. Somebody said, report your manager to HR. Um, if possible, my God, man. Oh, Broccoli Broom says, hi, everyone. Hi, Linda. When I clicked on the stream, I thought it was going to be a rant video because of the vid title. A rant to video. Stripes, can you can you say that I've ever done any of those? Um, what about those um, ones about people that do shit bad? You do shit bad. Do you mean the internet trash fire videos? You yeah, classify those. those as rants? No, they're more like coverages. Yeah, they're pretty informative, and they're filling people in who don't know about any of these assholes. You know. Uh, like when I when when I think about it, of course, uh, the Philip Mewson guy who's a plagiarist comes to mind. The bitch who was like abusing her dog, um, Alpha Genesis, recently, who believes that an eight-year-old can consent. These aren't really rant videos. I don't think I have those. those I wonder, are the you have I wonder if someone's it, confusing right. my channel with another one because this channel doesn't have a focus. Either way. I should start making animal videos. Animal? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Number eight. I can't seem to do anything right. I can't find a job to save my life. I can't keep the people I care about safe or happy. I just n don't know what to do. My anxiety is getting worse and I have no way of combating it. Merry Christmas, I guess. I have very bad PTSD, PTSD and anxiety that rules out most jobs right off the bat. Um, for some people, it's a cycle, but can I be honest? What? Obviously, I'm not speaking to this guy's condition. There's obviously more going on than we could be aware about or aware of, but, um, hmm, right. The problem is, um, let's say you're upset at yourself because you have not met a personal deadline. You oh, want you to, mean, you're not where you thought you'd be in life. No, not so much life. Just like a, a an obstacle in the way of like a thing. Say that okay. you, you want to draw something and it's time sensitive. So you need to do it soon before, you know, culturally it loses it's weight, like people lose interest in the thing. You do not do it. And then you're critical of yourself. You know, you're sad, you're upset with yourself, you're anxious, shit like that, because you didn't get this thing done. Now, that should be done. There's nothing you can really do about that, you know? But if you keep allowing it to make yourself anxious, even though it's already something you can't change at this point, then it's it's super unhealthy and unreasonable almost irrational you know what i mean i feel that some of these people are critical of themselves about things that they can't change and instead of using those experiences to uh change how they affect or deal with things in the future they just do the same shit and i guess the wonderful analogy here you know a lot of people can't find a job you know a lot of people you know, can't, uh, what, protect other people or keep them feeling great or happy? You know, you, you, boy, why should it be your obligation to keep somebody else happy? Is this your kid? Is this your wife? And to be honest, if you can't sort that out for yourself, you certainly can't do it for other people. So the big thing for me, I guess, what I'm trying to express right now is that people need to really take some time to try to sort themselves out and unfortunately because we are realists 
Some people live and die never figuring out how to make themselves feel fulfilled or full of purpose or happy as 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 I guess broad as that can be to say. So how the hell are you worrying about other people? You know, some people do work the way where I guess like I like to think me, I would probably have difficulty keeping myself more than just content or satisfied on my own. But like if I make other people happy, that kind of makes me happy. But if that's not how other people work, and it's just making themselves more miserable, y'all need to try something else, baby. It's your punk ass. Some dude said, fired twice this year because of poor management that takes advantage of students. My relationship of four years broke down for a variety of reasons, but we can't really say who's at fault. One step closer to becoming a neat. Aw, yeah, boy. Oh yeah. Aren't you already there? You know? Yeah, of course. No, not you. I mean, like, this guy. Maybe he is still in education. All my friends are either too busy or have no interest in hanging out with me. The latter, I barely call friends. Boy, y'all don't know it yet. But soon, you'll reach an age where friends are impossible. Friends are impossible. You're not in school. And unless you work in a place with people that somehow aren't basic... Newsflash, everyone's basic, all right? You're going to end up settling. That's the best you can hope for. That is the best you can hope for. And Stripes, unless you got the cash to be at every fucking event that you want to be at, whether you're into, say you're into like horror movies, really old school bad horror movies, you're going to that kind of convention to rub shoulders with other nerds like you, going to some convention, going to some festival some some dance club because they're playing a very specific artist from from that nobody's heard of man he's really underground you wouldn't know you know i'm gonna see y'all at the hannibal burris show hannibal burris i'm show. so mad when i saw on twitter that he was like in your area but you had just missed the ticket deadline are you saying that there are hot single hannibal burrises in my area <laughs> yeah he was doing a show close to you number seven my boyfriend broke up with me yesterday, and I'm really sad about it. I really liked him, and it just came out of the blue. I don't really have any friends, and it was nice having someone to hang out with, and now I have no one. I'm really lonely and sad. Well, sometimes these feelings help us remember that we're alive. Sorry, but hold on to these feelings. Hopefully they help balance things out in a way where you can appreciate the good times much better. And I hope that they don't get too lost in the feeling of loneliness. I'm sure that this all happened for a reason. Let's see what a comment response says. I'm sorry, internet stranger. It's awful to be blindsided with something that hurts. Be tender with yourself. Sorry. Uh, take care of your hurt, and then, if you want a little advice, here is an idea to consider. Find stuff that you like to do and let it help you meet people that you might like to spend time with. That's already shit that I said, you know? You need to allow your interest to be the catalyst of you he finding other that people. That. Well, yeah, but instead of me really reiterating through some other asshole's comment, you know... If you like video games, find yourself an online video game that you really like. Pop on the microphone. Don't go out there hoping to find friends. But, you know, if something happens, it happens. You know? Get on that Twitter. Find yourself some kind of bullshit group. Um, everybody, uh, you know. I feel like if you want to vent and you're here, you should do that. What are you doing, Dia? Lizzo says Mr. Creepypasta cheating on his wife with a fan who he got pregnant and he used crowdfunding money that was for a book, um, but used that money for a wedding and a suit of armor for his McMansion. Uh, I mean, why do y'all care? Of course, these people are going to do that kind of shit because they can get away with it from people who talk about niggas like Creepypasta. <laughs> Hey, creepy pasta. I'm Mr. Creepy Pasta. I want to tell y'all right now, 
I would not be like I could get a hundred thousand subs right now. Whoa, wait, wasn't there somebody who was talking to you for a hot minute and then they turned out to be a racist who read who read creepy pastas? Yes, I don't remember what his name was. I don't either. I remember having to block him though. Everybody's racist, man, and it's not because they, because they're ignorant. He was ignorant too, boy. Uh, he didn't live in America. Plus, he wasn't black. <laughs> so he just thought he knew well, everything. It was John Tron all over again was what it was. It was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? You ever talk to somebody in like three seconds and they're just like, God damn, you really don't know what you're talking about. And it's not worth pursuing anything in the way of a conversation further with you. I don't have brain cells or time like that to spare. Sorry. Get a load of this. Yay. Ugh. But guys, right. allow your interests to find, you know, a group that you might be interested in. If you guys like creepy pasta and getting your money stolen, shit, Mr. Creepy Pasta may be the nigga for you. You know what I'm talking about? That's what it's all about. You know, finding your little niche. RCE Transportation says, Kyle, I was wondering if you can look something up and talk about it for a little bit. If you have the time, why? Give me the money first. Well, <laughs> What do you mean look something up and then talk about it? Why don't you tell me what it is and ask me my opinion on it as opposed to going, hey, can you do some research for me? I would appreciate that. How do I know this isn't like some kind of bullshit backhanded way of you hey, Kyle, fucking can you help promoting? Me with this essay I have to do? <laughs> you know, hey, hey, Kyle, I'm, I need to come up with a concept for a fucking movie. To pitch to an executive later why don't you just uh throw some ideas at me <laughs> you know come on you know rce says because youtube giving you hell and they are not giving him hell for the things he does listen youtube's giving everybody hell but people are still profiting off of it i'm not profiting off of it because i don't have a large enough pool of assholes but let's be real if i had um and i don't mean assholes like subs you guys are wonderful most people on their channels have straight assholes subscribed to them. What do I mean when I say that? I mean nothing human beings with genuinely nothing knocking around in their brain. You know, people go out and they watch Rise of Skywalker and they go, oh, it was an all right movie. And, the, you know, that was that. It's because they go out and they shut their brain off and they eat the popcorn and they watch the movie. Transformers 10, let's watch it. Fast and the Furious 50, I'm down for it. Paranormal Activity again. Oh, oh, here come the part where something gonna happen. You could tell it's scary because it was a jump scare and there was a violin sting. Listen, not everybody's in the mood for that, but you can find a prank video right now where because of the multiple camera angles, because of all of the fake ass acting, you can immediately think to yourself, this is staged, this is scripted. They had to do this multiple times to get the best shot, but you have a brain. The people who are in the comment section, who are taking this all for what it is, who are liking the shit out of this video, who are literally doing anything that they're told to do, they aren't capable of processing anything. These are the assholes that I'm talking about, right? I guess this is turning into a rant video now. So who, who said that? And they broccoli said it. Awful. So look, a lot of other people are going to be getting away with terrifying shit on this channel. And I know you may want my opinion specifically about some, you know, random asshole, but why should it be any different from everybody else, you know? Philip DeFranco can get his bitch ass up and then show some fucking website that's out to harvest your information under the guise of being about helping people with depression, and he's gonna get away with that. He's big enough to do it. Some guy can walk around in a suicide forest and fill a dead body. He's gonna get away with that. Do you get what I'm saying? The site's racist. The, sites, the site like uh, harbors uh, people who are into children and can access children in a live capacity and instruct them on what to do. I've made dozens of videos about this kind of thing. You won't see a lot of them because like I said on YouTube, YouTube's the type of site where you can post a video of somebody doing something terrible and that video will be fine. But if I make a video highlighting what's wrong with that video, my video will get taken down. It's a song as old as time. So, you know, I, you want me to say the same thing, but, but like code it differently? It's the same thing that I'd be saying over and over. We need to ride this sinking ship for as long as it's gonna, you know, 
somehow be afloat. There's somehow portions of this ship on top of the water still. So ride it with me while we just have a little bit of fun. I guess I'm venting via whatever that was. But my God, it's not a rant. It's just objectively like this has been going on on the site for 10 years. What? Are you the the band playing while the Titanic goes down? I wish. You know what I mean? Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure knowing you. My God. I wish. Certainly not one of these people getting on them life rafts. I could tell you that. (laughs) So number six, as we continue up this list, I had been fighting with an exchange student for the past two months. I like how that sounds on its own, you know, no context. So this exchange student rides up and I'm like, what the fuck? Get your ass up. Mm, mm, bitch. What are you doing in America? <laughs> this will teach you to be in my land, land of the free, home of the brave. Sorry, there were once someone I could call my best friend. Oh, the plot thickens like a traitor scenario she went home today with things worse than ever they were Mm, me brain good they're probably a 0.000001 chance that we'll ever see eye to eye and be friends again did you guys fall out over a man it probably won't matter half a year from now but it's been weighing on my mind because i'm very shy And this person was one of the few who made me want to come out of my shell. Wait, do not tell us what's up. Iki Gabby says, I kind of feel better getting what I wrote out. What did she write about? This ought to be good. I don't know. She's the one that cleared her throat because I hate when they do that. Let me clear my... (laughs) Well, how can she vent properly if she... uh... If she doesn't uh, clear her throat, you know what I mean. I don't like tech sections; they're annoying. She clears her throat. Oh yeah! Wow. Oh, stop! You don't like when people do that? No, I hate it. Okay. 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 Squeezes <laughs> veiny boobs. Stop it! There it is. You don't like when people do that. All right, I have to go to my in-laws for Christmas, but they don't accept if I our. Did it my way, ban them. <clears throat> if you, yeah, you'd ban everybody if you had your way. Iki Gabby says, "I don't. I have to go to my in-laws for Christmas, but they don't accept our poly partners." Oh right, Gabby has like a bunch of dudes that she bangs. Nice. Oh, that's called polycule. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna acknowledge what you just said. It's. It's. It's like we have to play pretend when we go over there. Play pretend what? I don't understand. Play pretend what? Gabby goes on to say, "I kind of feel better." To, what the hell was that? It. That's all she wrote. I guess so. That's all she wrote. Huh. Are you requesting more information about her polycule? It's not a poly. Stop. Stop saying that. Also, Polyworld. <laughs> Polygirl. <laughs> it's not my thing that makes me feel better. Polyworld. <laughs> Does he say it? Can I get a video of him saying it? <clears throat> Polyworld. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Holly World. Just say it. Oh, he's a bully. No. Polly World, no. Today we find our hero friendly. No, fuck Polly Raph. Where's Polly World? Oh, you guys are ruining it. You stupid haired bastards trying to be the main character in the anime. Ugh. There is a Polly World. Polly World. Okay. I'm glad that that's out of my system. I'm very sorry for anybody who had to uh, experience that. Uh, kind of feel better just getting what I wrote out. Still don't like the idea of going over. I mean, it's not the end of the world, my God. You know, what I'm trying to say is pretend how. So you take multiple partners over to your in-laws? Or is it just you going over with that one person that you're dating whom is related to those people? And then you guys have to pretend that it's just you two in a monogamous relationship? This is missing information, but, you know, I guess we'll, we'll just deal with that. 
I guess we'll just deal with that. Hmm. Dia says, it started off nice, but with anything else, anyone on top gets corrupted with power. Some people can't handle the idea of fans and popularity. Guys, I want you guys to embrace something, okay? No amount of money or power is going to make me take a child and decide, you know what? I'm going to bend that over, okay? No amount of money is going to make me decide that, hey, if I want to fuck some bitch, then I might as well just like be out of a relationship to do that. Do you get what I'm saying? It's so easy. It's so easy to just seek what you're interested in instead of like making excuses. And I guess that's the difference between a typical douche these days and like a man. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not the type that would hide anything, you know? I guess that's what makes me different. Seems silly. Seems weird. Why? Why if you want to bang some hoe, you don't just drop whoever you're with, man? Um. Come on now. Some men were not meant to have enough women in front of them that they can have their choice. Because they would never be able to choose just one. Are you describing a hair? Mm -hmm. What? Listen. Gabby says, my, my Who's family, the Who's Ans family, they don't acknowledge our partners as part of our family. We can't bring them up. I don't like hiding that I have a boyfriend and that he has a girlfriend. Psh. Um, here's the thing, Gabby, and this is going to strike you in a rude way, what, what, but you don't need to constantly be bringing it up, you know? It's kind of just that you want to, that it's an issue. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something. With people that I'm not familiar with, and this would be in-laws, this would be my own mother. Like, we we speak very superficially about very vague, irrelevant, and small talk type shit. What is, why does she, why do they need to know about your boyfriend and his girlfriend? You know what I mean? It's irrelevant. Don't bring it up. You shouldn't want to bring it up. And I feel like it's the woman in you that's desperate to bring it up because you know it's an issue for them. Don't go starting drama. It's Christmas. It's not about you. It's not about you. You know what Christmas is? Let me tell you what Christmas is. Um, my grandma died last year. Or this year. Last year was the last Christmas I had with her. And one of these Christmases is going to be the last Christmas that y'all share with y'all family. Think about that shit. And it may not be you, it may be them, but that's what this is. It's the opportunity to get together because you never know what fuck next year, but tomorrow holds. Don't make this about y'all. You know what I mean? We all have to keep shit in because people are ignorant. You know what I mean? And 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 ignorant is just a, a classy way of saying fucking stupid, dude. You know how easy it would be to just get into an argument with pretty much everybody because of the stupid shit that they genuinely believe? But would it be worth your time? I don't think so. So exercise restraint. Y'all can bitch about it in the car ride there and on the car ride back. But you don't need to just be like, hey, it's a shame my boyfriend couldn't be here today. Oh, Harold, I hate it when they mentioned him. Why can't they just be in a normal relationship? No, I have a boyfriend. And he has a girlfriend. And we are happy together, but there are so many people. Sometimes we set up gangbang. Sometimes we set up gangbang. Listen to Ariana. Kyle's like, I'm not like the other guys. It's true. I'll take a picture with a controller right now. You want to see that, Stripes? Not really. Come on, I'll take a picture with a controller, and then I'll make duck face. Ooh. But your lips are already big. So... You know, I'm insecure. I'm a I'm an insecure little white teenage girl. So I gotta I gotta let everybody know that my lips are full just like the other girls. I'll suck it. I'll suck it. Come on. I'm trying to get a who's and stripes. What's a who's and? Who's whose line is it anyway? What you mean what's a who's and? It's right there. She said she said my who's and Oh, well, I can't. I'm not. The chat's not open. Oh. Wow, you didn't even care about the chat? That's kind of rude, right? I'm here. Why should I be modding? 
What? I'm here with you. Why should I be modding? I'm not saying that you should be modding. You can follow along with the chat to make sure everybody's not interested. It wasn't open. Well, look, I guess you don't care. I don't care. Let's continue. <laughs> Oh, uh, number five. I'm 21 years old and have been raising two of my cousins for little over a year with next to no help. My mom has guardianship over them, but has given them a bath maybe once since they moved in. Oh, my God. I gave up my bed, my room, my time for them. Mom asked me to quit my job so I could help her because they had been so damaged by their mom that they needed to be supervised 24 7. i quit i had no problem helping under the promise that she would help me out so i quit school i quit my job my social life to help these kids this has now turned into me cleaning the house doing all the laundry cooking all the food raising the kids doing all the errands and getting screamed at for never doing enough and demanding everything under the sun if you give some of these parents some power they'll take it a hundred percent some parents have a boner and they'll try to keep their parents uh depend they're try to keep their kids dependent on them so they'll always be able to tax they dumbass and there's more than one way to tax somebody it doesn't need to be financial yeah yeah she's the tax man it is ma'am i asked for shampoo and it's such a burden it's too expensive but we can go out on date nights and buy steaks for dinner I get no help whatsoever and all the criticism. I leave a spoon in the sink, all hell breaks loose. There's five adults in the house, two preschool age kids in the house, and nobody can pick up after themselves. I stay up and clean the kitchen spotless, and the next morning it is completely destroyed. And why you do it, you know? Why don't people get out? Why don't people get themselves a gerb and get the hell out, you know? I'm, t I'm talking dishes piled up when it took me three hours to wash all of them. Garbage so full it takes three weeks to get it all out and caught up. Laundry everywhere, fast food containers everywhere. I broke down crying washing dishes after my sister told me she would help out and clean the kitchen for three days and did nothing. And I get told that it's my fault that I let it get that bad. Oh my god, this is lengthy, dude. This poor person. Holy shit made into cinderella the minute i stop cleaning or watching the kids everything goes to shit i had to the chance to go to new york for christmas but i can't because no one is willing to watch the kids and they're going to be on vacation most of the time that i'd be in new, in new york you should have just went you should have just went if you had the chance to go just go it doesn't sound like money is an object here it doesn't sound like money is an object here. When money's an object, the reason you can't do anything is because you're broke. Huh. Seraphin Bear says, I need Kyle's for more doodles. Well. Hmm. Have you shown chat your drawings before? No. There's only one. What do you mean draw ings? I haven't even done Garsana Kitty. Well. That's what we should do next. Huh. I just cry a lot and am completely drained mentally and emotionally and physically and nobody seems to notice. Thank you for letting me get this off my chest. It was very revealing. Relieving. Relieving. <laughs> you're, di you're dyslexic. Anyway, Icky Gabby says, no, I don't bring it up, but we have kids together. It's our twins first Christmas. What you mean, twins together? With the boyfriend? So wait. Whose you... kids are those? Listen. Whoa. You're saying that you go to your husband's in-law's house, but you take the kids that you have with the boyfriend that you have? Does, th does your husband have kids by the girlfriend? What a shit show. You, you, you made that bed though, Gabby. I want it to be our family that we made together. I didn't want to spend it with people who barely talk to us during the year. Well, if that's what you want, you don't need to go see your in-laws. Is your husband pushing for this? Tell us if, tell us if that's the case, that you have kids by the husband and the boyfriend. And that's the issue when you bring them over to the in-laws. Hmm. 
because of course these old people should just be kind they're kids and they don't know better but you can't expect everybody to mirror your ways that's kind of the problem with a lot of the transgender people who are pushing their views onto other people because a lot of us just want to feel how we feel and like what we like and get on with our lives we don't need other people to harbor our feelings you know what i mean i'm a black dude you know you know i don't need every woman under the sun regardless of her race or or creed to like black men because if she doesn't like black men then she's racist you know what i mean but that's how some of these transgender people are where it's like oh if you don't like me then you're just a homo you're a bigot you bigot you transphobe and it's like bro let them like what they like everybody deserves a preference they don't need to, to like fat people they don't need to love people of a certain race and a certain fucking gender that's nuts that is insane so in the same way you can't demand that these people you know change their views on whatever but at the same time they need to not make it so awkward for the children that they're compromising what should be a little get together that they can have memorably be a happy experience so everybody's wrong <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding but she won't answer us dude what do you think the case is i think that's the case stripes boyfriend yeah, and husband kids you know what i'm talking about boyfriend well, i'm sorry well the kids aren't biologically hers what do you mean of course they're biologically hers if she's the mother errol Yes, she says, I have kids with both, the husband and the boyfriend. I don't push my poly life on anyone. I also respect monogamy. What does that mean? You can't, you know, yeah, she's saying that she respects that they want to get down that way. But, you know, I would just hope that they respect it enough to not make it a big deal at Christmas time. And they definitely respect it enough to not resent those children. That is fucked, you know? Leave resenting to the step parents, you know, like you, if you and I bang stripes and I have a kid and then I take that kid into a relationship with Dia and Dia hates that kid. I get it. You know what I mean? That ain't her kid. You know what I'm talking about? But if I am with you and we have a kid and then I'm with Dia and Dia and I have a kid and even though you and I are done. I go to my, I go to Dia's parents and then they hate the kid that wasn't from Dia and I, that's a little messed up because it's like, that's just a kid that I'm raising, man. You know, you can't like demand people, I don't know, change the way that they feel. <coughs> oh my God, take it away, Stripes. Give me a second. <laughs> Oh my god. Did you mute your mic? Because I did. Was there blood in that? I know that. They can probably hear you. Sorry, I was trying to cough up my babies that are that they're trying to. Have. Oh God, you know, I just I I, I I hypothetically spoke about having children. I almost vomited. <coughs> oh my God, <laughs> you like that? One? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> that water tastes like shit, dear. It's the blood. Oh God, that tastes bad. Ugh. Oh my God. It just tastes strange. Do you don't think so? Dude, that water tastes weird. How's it taste to you? You mean the water tastes like blood? So that water tastes different than the water you've been drinking normally? Yes, and it, you just opened it, right? I don't think so. 
because I it, like it was full. It, it felt like you know there was a bit of resistance, and so I. Where did you find that water, water bottle? It was here in the room on the floor. Go get another bottle of water, please. What is your concern with this bottle of water? I don't know where it came from, and I'm scared that it may have been planted in here by the government. Government trying to kill my baby. Jesus Christ. As we continue through this list. (laughs) Number four. It's more like things I can't say out loud because I don't want to upset anyone with reality. Thank you. I'm just going to try this. No, this is the purified water. So I think it would taste medicine-y and terrible to me as well. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> I'm not trying to turn D into some sort of water butler. Only a butler for milk. Get it? Because of the jugs. <sighs> a milkmaid, if you will. Number four. It's more like I... I really That really fucked me up. It's more like I can't say things out loud because I don't want to upset anyone with reality. My daughter might die, and if I stop and think about it or talk about it, I just spin out of control completely. Thank you. I feel like I'm failing as a mom because I can't fix her, even though we're bankrupting ourselves to try. I can't work full time because I need to be available for all appointments, treatments, hospital stays, so my only adult interaction is with other depressed parents. My partner, when we have time for each other, or Reddit, um, and I don't see or spend enough time with my younger kids, one of which is barely over a year old. I'm always tired and feel guilty that I'd rather sleep than actively participate in my own life most days. I'm always on the verge of either angry crying or destroying a stranger's car with a bat. I feel like I'm not carrying my weight financially because there is just no way to balance this new normal and a desk job and I have to do online accounting and while I have decent client base and pay is okay, I feel like I'm just wasting my education and not working enough. I really wish I could find somebody who is an accountant. Hey, let's be best friends. You know, I love you, Ray. I'm pretty good with money. What happened? pretty good with money i could figure it out for you you can't just i'm pretty good with money bro i'm not trying to find an accountant to abuse their services okay i just want to know an accountant because they get paid other people's minor problems annoy me to the extent that i occasionally get a mean um or short with them And I feel like an asshole because it's basically all I talk about on Reddit because it's like 75% of my daily routine. Because if I don't vomit the words out somewhere, I'll explode. For an entire year, I've just felt like I'm watching myself continuously spin my tires on soft snow and ice. I'm very depressed and angry. But you can't say stuff like that in polite conversation. Well, here's hoping that put a lot of our bing bongs in perspective. Not that somebody going through something worse should invalidate what we're going through or how we feel, but um, at least our kid isn't dying. And everything that we earn is just going towards this kid. That's what some people don't get as a parent. Pretty much everything you own and everything you earn is going to go towards your kid, who hopefully doesn't end up in an urn. See what I did there, Strike? Um, what does an urn look like again? What does an urn look like? You can make an urn look like anything. Urn is just a container. I, I could hollow out the, the Starship Enterprise and make it an urn for, for you if you, you were dead. Are you saying I need all that space for all my ashes? No, you, you would seek out new life and new civilizations and boldly go where no one has gone before. <laughs> okay. Space would be the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Urn. <laughs> it's continuing mission to hold the remains of Stripes because she's dead. <laughs> is that timely you enough? I just said it's a vase and I would have gotten it. <laughs> yeah, it's a vase. That's what an urn is, a vase. If you're a fucking normie, you know. Would you like an urn with scales on it? It's like a mermaid metal for your scales. 
See, I can't get shit that's on my wish list, but people are out here putting mermaid scales on a fucking urn. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, soda's at the top of the wish list. The I don't think that was at the top. I wonder if somebody got something. Curtains. Ooh, toothbrush replacement tappies. Nice. I feel like I'm not making the money that I'm supposed to be doing, and I should be, I should be, uh, what's the word? Conceptualizing shitty knickknacks to bait mothers into buying these things. Oh, I see. You why can't it. why can't I have mothers pay me for nice messages every day instead of like this crap that's not gonna like fulfill or enrich their Oh my god! I just scratched myself so hard it ripped a scab right off. Oh my own strength. Your body is scab. What? Where on your body is the scab, Kyle? It's like near my uh okay. You know the elbow? You know that? Yeah. You know the inside part? where like your okay. hand folds your arm folds sure yeah um okay now literally like the space uh that's like halfway from elbow to that inside part so it's kind of like on the on the middle side part of yeah that, the fleshy yeah. part no no it's like it's like on the outside of the arm but oh, it's like okay. if you if you go from the center of the if you go from the inside part where the arm folds and then travel yeah. towards the elbow on the on the side of the arm that's where it is okay i think i have my finger over where it would be thank you yep i hope this has enriched your life knowing exactly where i scratched the scab necessary information right hey guys if you felt like venting and um <laughs> you know you felt like you didn't have somebody that you could vent to and you feel alone because you didn't have a friend. I hope this Stripes experience has, has been a good indicator of what having a friend would be. And hopefully you, you, you figure it's more trouble than it's worth. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lizzo says, draw her, draw her a map, Kyle. Yeah, draw her a map. And then charge her for the map. And then cheat on my wife. <laughs> and start a, start a Kickstarter. <laughs> Give me the money. I'm going to fund this wedding and get a suit of armor for my house. A suit of armor. Well, it looks like some kind of fuck boy. Just because I'd hollow out the inside of a Starship Enterprise and and put a person's remains in it does not mean Your I'm some kind of nerd. Remains. That's pretty fucking metal when you think about it, man. I would put it low enough for somebody to actually run into it and be like, "Oh, what the fuck? What? What is all this? Why is there sand inside of this?" And I'm like, "Sand? That's my best friend." <laughs> their remains and they'd be like what the fuck and i'd be like calm down they're still alive <laughs> what's this shit in here i don't know <laughs> i got it from a beach i got put some food color and get it <laughs> to make it people colored make it make it dead people colored urn <laughs> doctor i'm gonna need you to uh to rate this <laughs> these remains <laughs> Really trying to simulate some ashes here. Went to a prop department and they didn't hook me up. They said they needed it for some sort of mummy movie. Lame. Is this grainy enough? Is how's the texture? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't think it's dark enough. Doesn't need to be darker. I really want to capture the ash of it all. Number three, I'm still torn up over my ex fiance cheating on me and our friends, taking her side and having covered for her for almost a year. For the cheating until she couldn't use me anymore due to ending up in the hospital. Ain't nothing scarier than people, you know, covering up for people when they're cheaters. Pretty insane. But I guess if anything, if anything's depressing, it's that other people have friends that are willing to go to the ends of the earth for them as far as um illegal stuff when they wouldn't do that for you. Most of your friends wouldn't even show you themselves naked, but these people would lie to the law. Wow, stripes. Are you saying, <laughs> but which is easier? Hmm? Which is easier, sending nudes or lying for someone? You know nudes are easier. You know it. It's lifting a shirt and snapping a titty or dropping trowel and, and like flashing the bowels. Of but, a titty. but it's not even like, um, it's not even like, you know, it, it's, it's a legal ramification of it all. That's what you're risking. That's what you're risking when you're going out on the line for some of these people. This cheating bullshit is nothing. 
But say like, you know, you're lying about a gun, you're lying about drugs, you're lying about the whereabouts of somebody as far as like, oh, where were you guys well, at this time? You know, oh, no, we were over here. Well, we were we had a, you know, hey, I'm here to confiscate your guns. Oh, well, I had a boating accident and lost all those guns out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> People willing to lie. Went overboard. To the police? Did you just say? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just make a joke about going overboard? Are you saying I'm going overboard? That would no. be pretty good. That would be pretty good. I'm going overboard. Not it's bad. not what I said. I wish okay. it was. Though. Look, let me tie a knot on this this little uh, derailment here because because knots nautically. Like you know. on an anchor. Huh? Like on an anchor. That that doesn't really apply. I got an anchor. You could just say that. You know. You could say, I hope I haven't been an anchor or I, ha I hope I have been an anchor. Either one of those works. I've got anchor, an anchor. anchor. That's that's so shit. It's like <laughs> it's like we're making boat puns and then you're just like, sail. I have a I have a sail. Hello. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Try harder. Try harder with that, please. Number two. OK, OK. I have a lot of friends, but I feel so lonely. This is I feel like a bully now. <laughs> Dia, what? I don't want to feel like a bully. Dia? Sometimes you are, though. I'm not a bully. Stripes can attest to that. Well, because Stripes I made me a fucking bull bully. in her stupid headcanon persona garbage. Please. But it's not my persona. But you said you made it. I said you made it my persona. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> okay. Oh god, my body is decompressing. Oh, I'm supposed to be making the meatballs. Okay, number two. <laughs> that's that's not gonna sound great to somebody listening that actually pays attention to me. Ugh. You, got, you have to cook your balls? So somebody's gonna be like, oh, I have to cook the meatballs. Is this what Kyle does off stream? I get in the kitchen and I'm just like, yeah, bim, 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 bim. gotta throw it in. I needed more parsley. Number two. I have a lot of friends, but I feel so lonely. Well, good for you, Mr. A lot of friends. Most people who feel lonely don't have any of these. What a shame. I don't know who my true friends are and who I really am. That's your own fault. <laughs> Always angry for some reason, but I realized I'm just mad at myself because after all, I don't really like myself, even if I try to act like it. A great way to uh, get friends that you can identify with and get close to is to first find a version of yourself that you're comfortable with. It's like you don't like yourself, so you are probably a, a, a version of yourself that you don't like to attract the people that are your friends with you right now. So they like or at least tolerate a version of you that you don't even like. So how the hell are you going to keep them if you graduate to a person that you do like? Oh, my God. This dude edited his post to say I got more replies than I thought. I'm seeing therapists. Yeah, therapist ain't good. Uh, can I become a therapist? <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. Do you? Do you have the water? Yes. Okay. I'm going to try it. Would you say that the water tastes different than the other one? I, I didn't grab that one. That's only for you, so I guess you'll know. The water that I have tastes fine. It still tastes pretty bad. I just think I hate water. <laughs> Um, listen, somebody Snapchat me, C-Y-A-E-L, and let me know, if you know, how easy it would be for me to get started on the way to becoming a therapist. And I know that there's probably two ways to go about this. The most licensed and um, above board way, and then probably like the kind of way where I just rent out some kind of space and then start marketing myself as a therapist I, I don't think and then get in trouble. <laughs> What happened? I don't think you'd be a very good therapist. All you have to do is shut up as a therapist and then ask and, questions. And, and I don't think you'd be able to do that after a while. I wouldn't need to give people's advice. You know? You, Not when money's on the table. I would just need to keep them talking. How does that make you feel? <laughs> don't mock don't mock the area. <laughs> <laughs> don't mock it. <laughs> Out the clock, though. <clears throat> Linda, Linda's never seen me as a bull. 
Ew. Don't oh, show her. Don't, really? don't, my God. Don't show her. <laughs> I won't. How come nobody else is venting? Come on. It's got to get better than Gabby's boyfriend, uh, husband drama Boy, for Christmas. Boyfriend, too. Linda says, I think you'd make a better life coach than a therapist, Kyle. Why? All I got to do is listen. You guys don't, do you don't have think to I... be like in shape to be a life coach? What are you saying? That I can't jiggle my way into people's life coaching? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking fitness trainer. I'm just a, well, yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't think anybody wants to take life coaching from some guy who's like, all right, listen. All you gotta do is eat less donuts than me. But that's the trick. Nobody can eat more donuts trouble. than me. If you have trouble with your appetite, I'll be happy to <coughs> eat you. You're right. Number one on this list. I'm sad that I have nobody to celebrate Christmas with. It's my favorite holiday. <laughs> At least it used to be, but I have no family, no big meal, no presents, no one to sing Christmas songs with. Every year it gets harder and harder, this time of year, because every year I feel more and more alone. Well. A comment from definitely a female. T-T-T-T-T-R-A-N-S. Mm, 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 penis down there. Fa la 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 la. Just kidding. M, M, put an M at the beginning, not the F. Ma la 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 la. La 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 la. Male. Okay. You've got it. You've got male stripes. Is there anything that you'd like to add to today's... Um... I'd say. Well, I'd say. I'm tired and I'm supposed to go cook meatballs, guys. Love you. Talk to you soon. Hope you guys had a good day and I hope things make sense for you. Like this video for me as best you can. If you can. I know it's really difficult for some of it you guys. It is. You know? Seriously. Um, Snapchat me about becoming a therapist because I wouldn't want to say I'm trying to jump headlong into classes to make that happen. But if it's reasonable... Or at least easier than becoming a massage therapist. It might even be something that I would um, pursue. That or um, sex hotline and stuff. I feel like that is your easiest option. Someone tell me how to do that then. Easy. The thing is, I know that I oh, need wait, to have a dedicated wait, line for sex hotline. So if, you, if I can do that without having to have a... Uh, well, I'm way too far away from the microphone right now. Give me a snow. Okay, well, there we go. Sorry about that. Can I just you sat way far a, back. Can uh, a therapist in the same way Dr. Phil is a therapist? Yeah, that's Dr. what I want to do. I want to be the... No, I want to be a therapist in the same way Dr. Phil is a doctor. <laughs> you know? She's not flexing any of that. I'm not saying that Dr. Phil probably isn't a real doctor. I'm just saying that he is not using <laughs> that... <laughs> He is not using that, so... You know what? We should just stage it. We should just... We should just lie our way... Um... To... And we'll have, like, live therapy sessions with you guys. Okay? Oh. And, like, we'll have guest people who are just gonna blow smoke up my ass to make me seem amazing. Until we can get real people. What if um, an actual therapist coaches you? It'll field? be live therapy. And then down the road, when we've already established a bunch of therapy bing bongs, right? Um, it'll be like it'll be like $10 a guest, $15 a guest. You know what I'm talking about? For like 30-minute like counseling. Yeah. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> it's okay, pretty terrible. Do they get in free if their story is interesting? No. So on top of that, I also get to what profit off of the seven people who are going to watch the 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 doc of it. Yeah. This Li guy thinks he's a tree. More than eleven. Live therapy. <laughs> Why do you? It's not going to be crazy people. It's going to be people who. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm a therapist. What is the difference? This, this guy thinks he's a tree. Surely that's more psychiatry than it is uh, therapy he needs. It's, um... <laughs> Wait, oh, damn it, I can't make the joke if I don't know what it... Botany! It is botany. That's the joke. What do you... What do you isn't botany with plants? 
Yeah. So what does that have to do with anything? Oh, he would need a botanist because... Okay. Listen, Stripes. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Stellar says the school of trauma. Is that a name? Is that a proposed name? <laughs> would you guys watch live therapy with a... No. You know what? If I really wanted to just destroy the series before it even began... Um, I would have you be the first guest, Stripes. <laughs> and then no one would be able to take it seriously. Wait, what what, what if we... No, you could actually tell me your real life struggles and pains. Cameron. You don't take those seriously. I would, for the sake of this live therapy thing that I'm trying okay. to get off the ground. Cameron. Look, it's something to think about. Something to think about, Stripes. But then I have to pay you. No, no, we wouldn't be doing the payment thing for the first couple of sessions. Because we'd have to sell people on the idea that it's something that's relevant. And, and like, worthy. Because most therapy, you have the, uh, the luxury of... I, I want to call it confidentiality, where it's just between you and the therapist... But this life therapy shit would be very different where everybody would not only have access to the Bing Bong, but um, I don't know. Hopefully the anonymity that comes with it would uh, would be a comfort to them. It's not like anybody's going to see it. And then even if they did, I would need to have some sort of contractual type of, you know, you can't you can't just change your mind because this is getting a couple of views type thing. Pretty cool. Urubulo says, um, get people feeling like it's worth watching before you start moving money around. What did I say that I was going to do, you fuck? This guy owes me $10 now. <laughs> you want to, you know, maybe that money in my pocket will help you clean your fucking ears out. I just, what the hell? Teddy says, as long as their faces are blurred and voices are altered, it, it should work. I wasn't even going to have faces and <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, Null says I was reaffirming your point. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm not a crazy man. Why the hell? Like asking money for nothing. That would be, that would be rude, you know? To be honest, it would, and, and it wouldn't even be like a couple of episodes in. It would probably have to be like after I, I don't know, consider it a viable, you know, actual thing to pursue in the way of a, of a series as opposed to a joke you know so what do you think's an even better uh length 20 minutes or 30 minutes 30 minutes to what for the session oh 20 minutes is fine and you want to be the first or should i get sarah bishop i never said i wanted to be the first i thought you were signing me up like regardless i'll try to get sarah bishop then okay she's got stuff going on she may be the most like flamboyantly damaged woman I know I'm just a neat that's all you're you're not just a neat you've got real social problems that I try to make you aware of and you just shake it off every time you're just like whatever <laughs> <laughs> oh boy well guys I'm gassy and maybe I'm not because that I mean who well nah I am see you later <laughs> love you bye oh the gas Oh, the the chamber. The chamber of secrets. Talk about having to vent but not wanting to be a burden. You like that one? No. Come on, that's the best joke. <sighs> Alright, later everybody. <laughs>